Now, as we know the definition of air mass, that is large body subcontinental in size, temperature and moisture content would be somewhat similar in the horizontal direction. So now we'll be talking about the classification and source. So classification and source, it would be easy to understand that the air mass can be defined in two letter code. Air mass is usually classified according to their temperature and humidity, both of which, which uh, usually remain fairly uniform in any horizontal direction. There are cold and warm air masses. There are humid and dry, dry air masses. So air mass are grouped into five general categories according to their source region. Air mass that origin in the polar latitude are designated as by capital letter P for polar. Those that uh, form in the warm tropical region are designated by the capital letter T. Those who are forming over the equator, they are E. And some of the air mass originate from the Arctic, co very cold region, they are considering as A. So if the source is a land, the air mass will be dry and the lower case letter, first letter of the air mass would be C, C for continental and preceded the P or T. If the air mass originate over the water, over the ocean, it would be moist, at least in the lower layer of the air mass. And the lower case letter would be M, and M will stand for maritime. So here is the main things to understand. Air mass, we can define it in two letter case. The first letter always be smaller case. And first letter would be M or C. If we see the first letter M, that the origin would be somewhere in, over the water body. If we see the letter is C, lower case, the origination would be somewhere over the land or over the dry region. And this is, first letter is telling us actually the moisture content. And the second letter, which would be capital letter, it is actually telling us about the temperature situation according to the position. If there is equatorial, we know the equatorial region, we have incoming solar radiation and hot temperature. And T, tropical, also hot. And if we go pole and Arctic, it would be cold. So by looking at two letter case, we can understand the characteristics of the air mass. So we have um, give or take five types of air mass that affect directly the United States weather. Those are maritime tropical, MT, maritime polar, MP, continental tropical, CT, continental polar, CP, and also continental Arctic, the CA. So we can now see that the polar air originate over the land will be classified as CP on the surface weather map. Whereas the tropical air originating over the water will be marked as MT. In the winter, an extremely cold air that form over the Arctic is also designated as continental Arctic or CA. Sometimes, however, it is difficult to distinguish between Arctic and polar air mass because both are uh, cold, especially when the Arctic mass, air mass, has traveled over the warmer terrain uh, in the west side of the nation, especially when the Arctic air mass have like pushed into the region of the landmass. We can see. So now we know the source and also. Um, the classification of air mass. Now we will be moving forward some typical types of air masses that affect United States weather.